Ever stared at a wall and thought to yourself, that's one white looking wall, kind of like this one over here. And uh, you thought to yourself, you know what? I should paint something on it. Yeah, I know, let's face it. Creating something is hard enough, but then to scale it up and to put it on a wall, that's a whole different level. Not to mention the mess you can make using these. But what's really the worst that can happen? Hoping that you haven't spilled anything, you just have to repaint the whole wall white. You're back to square one, you've wasted a little bit of your time, but you've learned a lot. So I say, we tried. Here's how I did it. First up, I took a picture with the iPad and I sketched up a few ideas. Then I finalized my favorite one and using a projector, transferred the outlines onto the wall. With the help of a thick Posca marker, I outlined the letters to create crisp, sharp edges. However, the wall acted like a rough paper on the tip of the marker and therefore ruined the marker in itself. My second option was to use the brush to create these outlines. That's a little bit more tricky, not to mention about the paint trips. You know, when you put too much paint on your brush, the paint will start to slowly go down and then start dripping off your brush. Now that's the problem. But instead of focusing too much on the problem, keep on working because as you go on, you still have time to think about solutions. And that's what I did. I waited till I had a solution. Now, using a small brush, I painted in the parts that would be hard to reach. And now using a thick brush, filled out all the letters. It would be perfectly fine to end here, but I always think there should be one more step. First off, I tried something using a white tip marker. It worked really well, but the edges were a little bit too sharp. So I opted off with my second favorite tool, the chalk stick. Adding a little bit of chalk, rubbing it off with your fingers made it look stunning. So there you go, it's not rocket science. You can totally do it too and I hope this short video has inspired you to get creative. If you have any questions or ideas what I should do next, please comment below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, turn on post notifications so you won't miss what's coming up next. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one.